Hey kids, welcome to lesson 13, Introduction to Arrays, number one. Creating an array. Arrays have many features which make them different from variables, but most of what you've learned about variables also applies to arrays. For example, just like a variable, arrays should be given a descriptive and meaningful name. We've seen that a bunch of times. Arrays can be created using the var, or variable. Arrays can be initialized set using an equal sign. We have an example array down here. We have a variable my first array, and it looks like it is equal to 100, 250, and 500. This array contains three values, 100, 250, and 500. Notice that the values are separated with commas and that the entire array is enclosed in brackets, not braces, brackets. We can use the console.log to display the contents of an array just like we would a variable. And then console.log my first array. Much like a variable, you're giving it a name and then you can call the name. We have a do this. Following the format described above, create an array which contains the even numbers from 0 until 10. Make sure your array has a descriptive and meaningful name. Of course we will. And then we're going to use console.log to display the contents of your array. Below is an example of the output your program should generate. And it looks like it just outputs numbers, even numbers, from 0 to 10. Up here we have our example, and this is really what we're gonna do right here. We're gonna create our first array, and then we're gonna print it out. What is an array, you ask? The very clinical definition is a series of objects, all of which are the same size or type. Arrays can have an integer, or it can be a character, or anything that has a defined data type. What would be an example of an array? Well, in practical sense, that could be anything from your grades. Let's say I wanna look at all the students who are scoring below an 80% in my class. I can have it output there. I could also do something more practical since it is spring in Cleveland. We could count snowfall. I can look at days where we got more than two inches. Arrays are a very powerful tool but they're a lot like variables and can be very confusing. This lesson is really gonna step us through this, so let's jump back into it. We can do this by dragging in a variable from over here, or we could just type it out like anything else. So my variable, this is going to be a list of even numbers. And this list of even numbers is gonna contain what? Well, the numbers, even numbers, 0 to 10. So that's 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, and then 10. That's my list of numbers. Don't forget your semicolon. We declared it, and much like a variable, we have to call it. So we're going to do a console.log statement. And we just want to call list of even numbers. List of even number. Right there. Don't forget your semicolon. That looks like my example up here. And looking down here, much like that, that looks like our example as well. We have a variable and then a console.log statement. When I hit run, I should get whatever is inside this bracket displayed in my console.log or my debug console down here. Let's hit run and see if that's what happens. Run 0246810. That's my numbers exactly up there. Pretty interesting. Looking back at our do this, we followed the format described above and created our first array. That array contained all even numbers from 0 to 10, 
and we outputted it in our debug console. I think that's all code.org wanted from us. Let's see if they want anything else. Nope. Good job, kids. I'll see you on the next lesson.